I started with Dr. Bernardi in 1995, and we started the pain practice here together. This was kind of our idea to be an adjunct for patients that might be having a little discomfort after surgery. We kind of figured that if we had them something to offer that was interventional, like epidural steroids, that maybe our patients would do better in the long term and in the short term. And we found that uh, through people telling us they've had it both ways, that they really like having the pain management after. And it does ease any discomfort our surgeries can cause. We do, first of all, diagnostics. Uh, people that come in and have back pain may have facet problems or SI joint problems, and we do injections for those to figure out are we going to do surgery or not. So if we do an injection in the facet joint or in the SI joint and they don't get any pain relief from it, then we cross that surgery off the list and go on to the second one. If they do get pain relief from these injections, then we have a surgery that we prescribe for that that would give the relief that I gave with the injection only permanent. For the diagnostics, obviously I'm giving uh, information to the surgeon and guiding him on his surgical choices. As far as the therapeutic side in helping patients with pain after surgery, we use a series of epidural steroid injections. We find that in the surgery, sometimes the patients get a little discomfort after because part of our surgery is we're actually cleaning around the nerve. And when we bang against that nerve, which we should, they sometimes get a little pain after. And a lot of times we'll do an epidural steroid injection within one to two days after surgery and it really smooths out the postoperative course and keeps them doing well and, and preserves the results that we got immediately after surgery. I believe our patient benefits from our pain management approach by really the following. A lot of our patients have had epidural steroids and they tell me, I don't want to try those, they didn't work for me, uh, they only lasted a short period of time, but I explain to them that we use the epidurals differently. We use them in conjunction with the surgery for really what they're intended for, and that's inflammation. The surgery can cause some inflammation. We use these after surgery in conjunction with the surgery. They work so well hand in hand, smoothing out the postoperative course and making sure that we preserve the results that the surgeon gets right after surgery.